Hello listeners, it's Mark here and uh, this version of Super League Pods is going to talk a little bit about the Toronto Wolfpack. Now it's going to be a little bit different to the other shows that we've been doing recently because let's face it, the Toronto Wolfpack are a little bit different to the other clubs that we've been covering. Now we've got um, the Simpson family doing a little bit of a review and recap of the 2018 season, some of their favourite moments, their favourite players and that great stuff. So thanks to those guys for getting that in and sorry that they've had to be so patient for me to uh, put that into a show but it's it's really appreciated and then we've got two um, Torontonians in Sher and Lil who are trying to basically in- increase the increase the interest in the Wolfpack one chance encounter in a public place at a time one video at a time they are spreading the word of of the Toronto Wolfpack so we're going to talk a little bit with them about how they got involved and interested in the sport and a little bit of what they think for 2019 um I'll, I'll forgive them for saying it's going to be their year we'll uh, we'll leave that to the other wolves after this this interview um, but thanks to those guys and i hope you enjoy this episode of slp shorts hi my name is maya simpson and i'm doing the simpson season review of the toronto wolf pack for the super league pot and i'm here with andrea simpson And Martin Simpson. So, Mommy, what was your favourite try of the season? My favourite try has to be the grubber kick. That was done by Liam Kay when uh, he kicked the ball all the way to the try line. I've never seen that before, and that has to be one of the most exciting tries I've ever seen. So, Dad, which player has improved from last year? I'd have to say Blake Wallace. He wasn't even in the team when uh, the season started. Uh, probably one of the first names on the team sheet towards the end and even against Leeds I think he was playing on one foot for most of the game. Mommy, which player do you miss from last season? Oh, I miss seeing Reese Jacks. Reese Jacks was our half Australian, half Canadian player. Um, love him so much. He was very fit, energetic, fast. Um, the fans just loved him and we hope he's doing well. We really miss him. He's going to be playing for Canada actually in the World Cup qualifiers. And we're all going to watch them. Yeah. And Maya, why did you ask that question? Well, because I really miss QLT. <laughs> I wanted him to stay. He was one of the that, one of my favorite players. He was always, like, um, fast and always, like, get, yeah. catching the ball. Yeah, and he, no, he did well. He's gone on to play for Castleford for a bit. Yeah. Next question. So, Daddy, what do you think of Mason Caden Brown? I uh, came in when we really needed him, uh, provided he wasn't really getting a game for Wakefield, but provided some uh, extra pace on the wing, especially after the injury to uh, Liam Kay, because we really miss Liam Kay when he went out in the in the playoffs, and, and Greg Worthington as well. So, yeah, the reinforcements I think were needed. So, Mommy, what was your um, best game of the season? I would have to say the game against Leeds. Because all bets were against us. We were told on um, social media and in the stands and from people around that we will never win against Leeds. Leeds are too strong. We can never win against this team. And we flew over, exhausted as we were, flying back and forth. We played Leeds and we won. Um, it was exhilarating. It was exciting. It was close. Um, and against all odds, we beat Leeds. Daddy, what do you think about next year? Um, well, obviously we're disappointed with the million pound game result, but I'm not completely disappointed, despondent. We're going to be in the championship again. It was an exciting game, more faster paced games uh, than the year before, playing against teams like Toulouse. Um, look, certainly looking forward to that one. And I'll give the Wolfpack a time to refine what they're doing and a time to let them, more people in the city know that they even exist, because I think a lot of people don't even know that the team is there still. There's a lot of space to grow. Oh, is that the last question? I have one for you, Maya. You started playing this season. What made you want to play? Well, I guess it was because during halftime, there was these boys and girls playing, and I thought how much fun it would be. Because last year, you asked me if I wanted to play, and I was not sure. But this year, I was sure, and now I'm doing it. And also because we met Tara um, Jones once, and she was also really helpful because she started playing when she was younger, but on an all-boys team. 
and I'm playing on a girls' and boys' team, but I'm the only girl. But the boys are really nice there, and I'm having so much fun playing. Okay. Good job there, Maya, with the questions. Thanks. So welcome to the Super League pod, Sher and Lil, um, Toronto Wolfpack's most uh, most videoed fans, I think is, is fair Woo-hoo! to say. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Thanks for having us. Hello, Mark. Thank you. No, thank you guys for being on. Um, I, I mean, people who are, who are all over social media have probably started to get used to your videos over the last couple of months. But can you tell us a little bit, Sher and Lil, about who you are and how you got into the, the Wolfpack? Uh, yeah, this is Cher. I guess I'll, I'll start there. Um, yeah, I've always been a big sports fan. I uh, love to go to games. I'm a Canadian girl through and through. So, you know, hockey, uh, born and bred watching hockey. Um, but I do like all sports. I had a friend actually, in, in terms of rugby, um, I had a friend who went to school for a year in Australia. And um, she came back just all about the All Blacks, loving the All Blacks. So we watched a couple games online. She introduced me to the sport. I loved it. Um, and then when I heard about the Wolfpack coming to Toronto, um, I was pretty excited. And I actually won a pair of season's tickets in their first year. Oh, so awesome. I was, yeah, it was pretty awesome. So I was going to all the games and, I mean, loved every minute of it. And then I one day asked, Lily to come with me and she kidnapped me. <laughs> <laughs> she said there's a beer festival going on down the road. Do you want to come? <laughs> She's like, yeah, there's this new sport that's in town. You should, you have to check it out. You need to come out with me. And, uh, and next thing you know, I'm hooked as well. Right. Yeah. Every Saturday, down we go to Lamport. So, yeah, yeah no, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. Time. Yeah, we love it. We love the sport. We love uh, watching the team, supporting the team, and just the whole experience of it. So, yeah, basically that's uh, that's how we got involved. That, that's that's awesome. It's great um, that, you know, the, the Wolfpack are reaching you guys, the sports fans of uh, of the local area, as well as just expats and that sort of stuff, because normally we just speak to uh, kind of British people who are, who are over there who have found some way of connecting back to the sport. So it's great that the sport's growing as well. And you're you're really doing your bit actually guys aren't you so tell us a little bit about the videos that you're starting to do and what what you what you're trying to to do really yeah so this is lily oh i mean i think sherry's been doing a lot of you know brainstorming on how do we get the wolf pack out there the name of the wolf pack out there and uh she actually gave a lot of ideas to the team themselves and they've adopted a lot of them last year and was very successful in promoting yeah so her and I one day kind of just over dinner after one of the games, said, you know, we should do something, just us, right? And what can we do, <laughs> right? And we always talk to our friends about, you know, friends or colleagues or whoever we meet about coming out to the game. Yeah, uh, we were doing we it anyway. It. Yeah, so, and yeah. then we thought, why don't we just put that on video? <laughs> Yeah, and that's kind of how we started, right? So, so you're yeah. hitting all the, all, the, all the local shopping malls, all the other sporting events and just... Uh... Basically, talking to someone until they agree to come to a game is that (laughs) (laughs) pretty willing without us, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Um, but actually, a lot of it is um, going to sports events, right? Yeah, we've been to Leaf games, we've been to you know, Hamilton Tiger Cup football games, but yeah, we just kind of go where the people are, so coffee houses and shopping malls and. Um, right now, skating rinks and uh, <laughs> hockey arenas and That's stuff. Right. But yeah, we've been mostly doing interviews. But you know, December being Christmas and the holidays, we thought we would shake it up a bit and do some fun stuff. And uh, I don't know if you've seen them all, but we uh, met with Santa and told him our <laughs> wolf pack wishes and did some Christmas caroling with some other fans. So we're definitely um, we're definitely having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, uh, but right. we're also getting the point across too. I mean, I've I've seen the videos. Where can people go and see the videos if if they haven't seen them already, guys? We're at Sher and Lil on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, in fact, on YouTube as well. So we're trying to open up more platforms. Uh, so it's just Sher and Lil spelled out. So yeah. it's S H E R A N D L I L. Very consistent branding as well. It's Sher and Lil across the board, so it's easy to find. Uh, that's that's for sure. Let's. Let's talk about the more serious stuff, the stuff on the on the rugby field, because you know you guys have been following the team now for a while. I'm sure you've started to get some some insights into 
to what's going on there. And 2019 is kind of a, a bit of a change for the Wolfpack with a new coach coming in. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you expect to happen in 2019 for the team? Well, first of all, we're going to miss <laughs> Coach Rolly. Yeah, right? yeah. He's a, he's a good guy, good coach. He'll be missed for sure. Yeah, we're actually very super excited. I think, you know, we've heard nothing but great things about this new coach, and we're excited what he can bring to Toronto and the Wolfpack. Yeah, and get us up to that next level, because uh, we fully expect that we're going to win the Champions Shield again and, and be that team to move up to Super League. So Yeah, um, and you don't yeah. have to have the, um, the, the, the... You don't have to play against the Super League sides to, to get into Super League this year around, so you just have to beat all the other championship sides. So does that make you a bit more confident about going up? Oh, we could beat the Super League teams too. <laughs> <laughs> you did show that, to be fair. Truth be told, that's, that's right. right. That's how we felt. But, anyway. <laughs> uh, but, but yes, I guess that could make it a, a little yeah. bit easier. Had path. we had that this year, we would have been... Uh, you know, right, we would have been up there right yeah. away. So. Yeah, ex- well, exactly. And um, do you think... <laughs> Do you think the team will have learnt from the disappointment of 2018 and the uh, the very tense, very, very tense, if, as me as a neutral, I was tense, the million pound game against London. Oh, so absolutely. do you think they've learnt yeah. a lot? It's a tough game to be in the stands watching. It was. And uh, I can just imagine the boys playing and to come out so close. I mean, not even a try scored. It was it was crazy. That's it that's was- very much not normal. I, I, like we don't see that happen hardly ever at all Uh, I've never been to a game I've been to hundreds of games I've never been to a game where no try was scored so um don't worry that's not a common occurrence that's that's a weird one (laughs) (laughs) yeah I mean we were definitely disappointed in the result but we weren't we weren't disappointed in the performance of the, the team. I think they could have. I mean, there were areas they could have done better from a passing perspective. The whole time, Sherry and I are like, pass the ball. <laughs> um, they were trying to really, you know, trying to carve their way through the center, and uh, some of that didn't really work well for our team. Um, but I think they did so well. They put all of their what they had on the field. There was yeah. nothing to be regrettable about. Yeah, right? I think despite that loss, I think the season is was still a success, and we're only going to grow from that. You know, we've added some new players again for the upcoming season, and as you mentioned, we have a new coach. So I think everybody is optimistic that we're going to get to that level that we want to be at. And don't forget, I mean, the long range plan was longer than Absolutely. three years. So. Did, did um, we ever really to... believe it was going to be a five-year plan, though? <laughs> it seemed like Mr. Argyle throws his money behind it very much to, to, to get immediate success. Yeah, it was two points away. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know, I know. Yeah. But, and um, yeah, no... The, the, you mentioned the new players. Uh, John Wilkins, probably the headline name, very experienced player from over here. Also got a, a decent media profile and that sort of stuff. So hopefully that can only help when uh, when he's over in Toronto and maybe getting on the radio and, and things like that. Are you uh, are you expecting, like, is he the particularly the player that you maybe expect to change the culture a little bit away from some of the, the rough stuff that kind of prevents your progress a little bit against the better sides? I, I I don't know culturally that um, it would influence. Um, I guess you know every every time they have new players come in, there's be a new mix. I mean, we saw that from the first year to the second year. Right. Um, half of the team was gone. Right. Yeah. It was a new team. Right. And then you had a new team, and then you kind of just build on top of that. Right. You you take everything you had together, and you you move forward together. And that's the point. I think everything we've seen from this team is that you know, they're pretty consistent in. Um, the team and mentality, like move, yeah. move in together, yeah. right? And doing things together. And and whether or not, um, I mean, a lot of things on the field, we kind of don't necessarily understand all of it. And we're cool. still learning the sport us, ourselves too. But from the fans' perspective, all you saw was a whole bunch of guys that really wanted this badly. And they're very passionate about their sport. And they're yeah. putting everything out there on the field. So that's all as fans we can ask for. Yeah. And I don't think there, it's just one guy. It's not one superstar. No. As Lil said, like, it's they work together as a team they win as a team they lose as a team and they you know they persevere as a team so um yeah you you know you do have some maybe bigger names but they're all playing a big role in their own roles do do you think that um having a winning team has been helpful in growing the profile of the team and uh and do you think that getting to super league is the next real step then for the fans to really start 